What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Synthoid Supreme here, and you might be wondering, what does he have for us today? What could he possibly be showing us at this very moment, ladies and gentlemen? It is in this giant box. It is the new weapons packs from Final Faction, from the Dollar Tree, shipped directly to your boy, Shim Synthoid Supreme. Almost screwed up my own name there, saying shipping and my own name. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to currently open said box, the box that I just removed from this area right here, and I am going to show you each and every new weapons packs that we have and see just how awesome they truly are. Or see how well they work for their intended purposes. So, without further ado, allow me to retrieve said items. Allow me to open the box and lay them out before you. I will return in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we can see the full final faction new weapons and accessories packs fully placed in front of us with who their respective intended characters are. Now we know one reason we love Final Faction is that usually all the things that come with your accessory packs, with your weapons packs, with your characters are generally pretty interchangeable. That is definitely one of, if not the biggest feature that I am just in love with, that I am just fascinated by. We see we have the Dragonfly set over here, intended to go with Steel, and he is already falling over with excitement and anticipation. Definitely can't wait to put those on him. We actually have one set for, uh, you know, the ACRM mech unit, but we have two, ladies and gentlemen, two specific weapons and armor accessory packs for Mr. Ruck here. Definitely one of my favorite characters. That's just me being biased. Even as a child, I always loved the big, bulk, bulky, heavy guy. You know, the one, the weapon specialist, the one who was always involved with all the ballistics and the missiles and everything in that fashion. But of course, we have the triumphant leader of Final Faction himself, Mr. Steadfast here. <coughs> Excuse me. He, as well, gets his very own weapons pack over here in the corner. So, without further ado, let us move these characters out of the way. Let us put them off to the side and bring them in one by one with their respective weapons packs. Opening them up and seeing exactly what they have to offer. So, up first we have Mr. Steel here, and I have his weapons pack open off to the other side of the camera. Let us bring the items in one by one and see exactly what we are working with. First things first, he gets a new helmet, ladies and gentlemen. He gets his very own mech helmet. This is known as the Dragonine's Aerodynamic Helmet with a digital HUD. So he gets his own Iron Man style helmet, probably got a Jarvis in there, maybe a Gal Friday perhaps. This right now, I can tell you right now, it is a very good looking helmet. It is spectacular. I love the detail on the helmet. I love the blue, black, and silver color scheme. It fits in well with steel and everything that he is about. So we have his helmet, his dragon eyes. The next thing that you get is the Scalar armor. It's a lightweight ballistics body armor. You can see it here. It's definitely kicking off with that helmet. Definitely looking as fine as ever. Look at the detail on it. Wish it would have had a little black, a little silver in it, but hey, for $1.25, not bad. Not too shabby. Nothing to sneeze at in the slightest. So we will allow that to be placed right there. The second uh, thing that we get out of the weapons pack are the dragon fangs. These are the dragon fangs. These are like the wings that you get right here. Or I think it's specifically... Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, it came all together. I guess that's specifically this part. This part right here is the uh, dragon fangs. Armor buster heat-seeking missiles. Heat-seeking missiles, ladies and gentlemen. Ruck has got to run for his money when it comes to the ballistics department because Steel is now getting his own heat seeking missiles and the other part i guess would be this it's it's the 
arc light wings. That's, I guess, would obviously be the wing part. It's a high tensile microfiber wing, as it says on the back of the packaging. And it definitely has that microfiber look. Look at the detail inside the wings, the honeycomb design, ladies and gentlemen, the honeycomb design, if I have ever seen one. And uh, this thing, it obviously just pops right back into place like so. And there you have it. It's all together in one fashion. We will allow, ooh, there's some missile gun action right there in the tail. You want to talk about a stinger? <laughs> oh, steel has now got a stinger. That is pretty good. Ooh, it even has articulated. You can move it up and down to shoot in any way, shape, and form you feel desired to do so. I'm definitely digging those wings. Definitely feeling the whole thing going on there. And you do get a second set of wings. And the wing fell off. Hold up a second. Hold up one minute there. Oh, I'm sorry. Here is the missiles. They're on this set of wings here. You can see the missiles plain as day right there. This thing, actually, I'm looking at it now. I can see it. I can envision it. It's supposed to plug in like so. P supposed to plug in like so. There you go. So you get four winged action, four winged things to lift steel off of the ground. These are pretty cool. These are pretty awesome. I, I do see some issues with them wanting to stay together, but hey, for $1.25, I would have a set that I would just glue together and then it would all be a permanent fixture and he would look nice and bad with that on right am i am i am i alone in this am i alone in this i don't feel as though i am alone in this so we have steel here we have him in front of us let us equip him with his new weaponry let us equip him with his new battle ready gear and see exactly the intention see exactly what final faction was going for let us do that right now and here he is, ladies and gentlemen, in all his dragonfly-like glory. It is steel with his steel dragonfly armor. I'm going to say it just looks so good. It just looks amazing. I mean, uh, whoop. as you can see here, I kind of have to have him bent forward. But now that that popped off, this is a good uh, point. Uh, when I turn the camera off just to get him all hooked up to bring him in for you guys, one thing I noticed, you know how uh, we have this hole right here, right? This top hole, that's normally where you would stick your wings, correct? That's normally where you would stick your uh, steel wings and whatnot, his other back accessories that you can find. Uh, these dragonfly wings don't, for me anyway, want to fit in that hole. And one thing I found in my investigation is this plastic, it's very flexible. I don't know if you can see the bending there. It's very flexible. It did not want to sit into that particular hole. It did not want to go there. But I found out, you see that top screw hole right there? That very first screw hole? This thing fits perfectly inside of there. It fits nice. It, it is snug. The only problem you can see where I'm going with here, it does expend extend past his feet so if you want him to stand up with the armor on you kind of have him doing the slunch uh, you know the slouch here you kind of have to put his feet a little bit forward and have it resting on the tail end of that dragon farm I, I don't think that's a big deal i don't think that's a major like make or break for me but you know it was nice to find out that oh okay i'm not doing something wrong it fits in there it fits snug uh, as I say that, it falls off. It does fit in there fairly nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall completely off. But it will stay on there while you're doing what you need to do, while you're flying him around, right? And for, you know, display export purposes and stuff like that, it seems to work. The only other problem I saw, as uh, you might have noticed as I was showing him off, these rockets, all that holds them on, you can see right there, it's a little slit, and it, ha it happens to sit right on here. Sits right on here. Mine are not very snug. Mine just seem to want to fall apart as it keeps falling off his back. I mean, we, we got the shot, right? We got the picture of him with it on. We can just kind of reassess here. Now, 
I, I overall, I mean, it's it's very ambitious for Final Faction. It's a lot for Final Faction. There's a lot of moving parts on here. There's a lot of stuff that goes into these wings. Um, if it was built a little snugger, if it was built a little tighter, I think it would have been all right. I think it would be perfectly acceptable. I, th I mean, I think it's acceptable now. I mean, for uh, as a play feature, I mean, that armor alone, uh, I can I could see buying it for the helmet and the and the torso piece right here. I could see spending the dollar twenty five. Now I could see spending the dollar twenty five at, at the current moment just for this helmet and this chest piece. Uh, this is just a bonus. It's got a lot of play feature. It's got a cool look. If you just want to, like I said, pose him with it, it 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 works for that. And like I said, if you want to glue some things together glue, and put it into a more solid state, you know, hey, if you want to invest $2.50 for a steel and a steel dragonfly pack, you, I mean, you could make yourself a permanent steel dragonfly and you there you go but that is the steel dragonfly pack i i am i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty surprised i am pleased is it hit in a hundred percent i'm not gonna lie no no it does not does the helmet and torso piece hit a hundred percent absolutely that is golden synthoid worthy in and of itself the wings and the rockets and everything else on the other hand um that's a hit or miss. I mean, you you take it what you will. All I can do is give you my opinion. All I can do is show you what they offer, and you got to make the choice yourself, ladies and gentlemen. That's one of the brilliant things about living in a free society. You can do what you please with the information you are given with. Take it or leave it, whatever you want to do. But here, brilliance. Here, ex excellence. Here, Again, take it or leave it. Let's move on to the next weapons pack. Let's move on to the next character. And let's see what Final Faction is offering us again. If you look closely, you can see our next character is the ACRM. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, in all of his robotic awesomeness. He gets a new pack as well. He gets one to make him more streamlined, to make him more aerodynamic, if you will. It's called the Razor Pack. That's what it is called, ladies and gentlemen, the Razor Pack. You get four different accessories in the pack. Well, I mean, you get more things, but there's four categories for the accessories. The first thing that we get, ladies and gentlemen, is these things. They are called the Whistler Turbines. You get two of them. They are turbines. What are their specific purpose, you may ask? Dual shoulder mounted turbines boost the ACRM to inc increased top speed of Mach 1. Mach 1, ladies and gentlemen, top speed for the ACRM. And as I mentioned earlier, you get, bang, two of them. These are obviously for shoulder mounting. They go into the shoulder slots of your ACRM unit. They go right up on top here. They go right in like that. There they go. So there he is looking more and more like a Japanese style robot. But you know what? Hey, that is one of the beautiful things of the ACRM. So the whistleblower turbines, or whistler, wait, they, I'm sure they're blowing some kind of whistle, but they're the whistler turbines, ladies and gentlemen. The second thing that we get in this pack, the second piece of this Razor pack, is the Zephyr stabilizers. And again, you don't just get one, bang, you get two. You get two, ladies and gentlemen. These are meant to go onto the legs of your ACRM, just as so with them flying out. So what exactly are these things? What exactly are these stabilizers? These stabilizers help the ACRM maintain precision control in flight. So obviously these are meant for him to get into that Mach 1 speed and be able to maintain it, maintain that speed and stabilize him in such a way. Now, where exactly does it plug in? Oh, there we go. They plug into the bottom hole of your ACRM unit onto the little feetsies of ACRM. Here he is. There we go. Now, those look really nice. They snapped really good into place. Definitely solid 
inside of his leggy holes. There we go. Now, that is part two. What is part three, you may ask? Well, part three are these babies. Again, you don't just get one, you get two. You get two of these suckers. What exactly are these? They are ion blast shears. Ion blast shears. What are they? They are wrist mounted shielding that also helps the ACRM navigate a top speed. So we have stabilization. Well, first and foremost, we have the turbines to get the speed there. We have stabilization in the legs. And now, now, what do we have? Navigation. We now have navigation, ladies and gentlemen. These go on the outward facing holes of your ACRM unit into the arm peggies, as we see here, into the arm holes there. He is looking awesome as ever. Now you would think, oh, wow, now, okay, he seems to be covered head to toe, arms and legs, right? Everything is, is pretty good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, the ACRM unit gets his own blaster. As you can see here, it's the E-Flux blaster designed for the ACRM. This blaster uses a fluctuating electrical pulse to disassemble enemies, not just remove them, not just stop them in their tracks, but completely disassemble them, ladies and gentlemen. His first blaster. You can see it here looking awesome as ever. This entire pack, I got to give it, I got to give it to it. Golden Synthoid status. Definitely a favorite so far in opening these packs. I'm opening them up with you. As you're watching, I'm opening. This is the first time I'm playing with them. First time I'm experiencing them. And so far, this is definitely my favorite. So not too much to go into here. Not too much to explore. We will move on to our next weapons pack. Move on to our next character and see what Final Faction keeps on delivering. Next up on the agenda, you can see we have Ruck here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ruck is definitely getting the better end of the deal here. He has two personalized weapons packs. He has two personalized accessory packs involved with this new out, you know, this new update, with these new things coming out. So the first one we're going to do is the Ruck Assault pack. This one is the smaller of the two. This one is a little bit more of a quickie, but he gets two nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen. And as I mentioned earlier, definitely one of my favorite characters. Brings back the nostalgia of when I would have been a child growing up in the 90s. Would have brought back all the memories of loving those big, you know, bulky guys that had all the weapons, had all the bombs, had all the grenade launchers and all the guns and whatnot. This is going to be pretty awesome. And, you know, I thought this was going to be a smaller one, but even though it is smaller, even though it only has a few items, it has a lot of them. And it was, I, I, I opened it on camera. I should have just opened it and then started filming, but I didn't. So the first thing you get, the first thing you get in this weapons pack, just like with steel, you get a helmet and this helmet ladies whoop, this helmet ladies and gentlemen sorry about that moving the camera this helmet ladies and gentlemen it looks almost like a welder's mask you know i i come from that type of environment that is what i do in my day job i not a welder but i work in a machine shop work in a factory work with all the heavy duty stuff and this thing speaks to me this thing is just reminiscent of like the things that I'm interested in. And that is going to go plop right on his head. Like so, perhaps. Maybe not. Let me move the gun. Let me see if we can get it on there straight. There it is. It wanted to go on at a crooked angle. But we got it on straight. We got it on in a perfectly perfect way. So that's the first thing. And it's called the hard hat. It's a shockproof helmet that protects Ruck and increases his already formidable defense capability. So we're making Ruck a, a monster here. We're making him a force to be reckoned with. The next thing you get, number two, again, with the big stuff, with the, you know, Ruck being the demolition specialist here, we get a missile. It's called the Angry Hornet. This SAM missile is capable of serious sting, easily bringing down Karn aircraft. So we get an anti-aircraft missile. And if you take notice, we got that slit in there. We got that giant gaping hole. And that 
ladies and gentlemen, is meant to coincide with this. As you can see, it plugs in nicely, just like that, onto this little bracket. And if you look, it is very reminiscent. It looks mighty similar to the side-mounted gun that you normally get with your Ruck character. So you, the people, can have him dual-wielding a nice shoulder-mounted gun and a shoulder-mounted anti-aircraft missile. Look at that. Look at that. Ruck is already looking better than ever, and this missile is just going to make him even worse. What could possibly be next on the agenda? What could possibly be in store for Ruck? Again, you don't just get one of these, ladies and gentlemen. You get two, and I can tell you already, I am really going to like this. It's the arms of Ares. That is what they are dibbing it. That is what the name they are giving it is, the arms of of Ares. They are capable of firing 4,000 rounds per minute. These arms are befitting a good god of war. And you know how we got in, a, in, in the earlier weapons packs, the first ones that came out with Final Faction, we got a little minigun, a little handheld one to, to stick in their hands here and they would hold it. This one, unlike that, it actually has a spinning barrel. I, I I don't know why that I, I I I'm just so giddy over that I'm I'm like a child again seeing that and again you don't just get one you get two and look at the spinning barrel on these mini guns ladies and gentlemen on the arms of rock this oh yeah this is all awesome. I'm get I'm liking it I'm liking it ladies and gentlemen the final thing we get they call it the rover and if you look again you get not just one you get two. These are going to go on as little feetsies, but these aren't the only things you get. You get these little wheels. You get these little wheels. You see that? You just stick them on there like this. You put one, two, and three. Of course, you get six of them, one for each footy. And here we go again. Uno, dos, and tres for the multilingual thing. And look at that. Again, coming from the machine world, coming from the mechanical aspect of this they actually work the gears actually coincide with one another they actually fit in well at least that leg does this one is bent just ever so slightly not gonna fault final faction for that mine uh my box came with a pretty big dent in it and this particular weapons pack was at that dent so hence why i opened it up and I'm going to play with that one specifically because I'm going to save the nice one. This is called the Rover anyway, as I mentioned earlier. This is called the Rover. What is it? It's these all-terrain treads allow Ruck to reach a maximum speed of 35 miles per hour, turning him into a literal, literal one-man tank. Ladies and gentlemen, a one-man tank, one-man army for Final Faction, for Rock, here he is inside the Rover Feeties. Here they are in all their feety goodness. Yep, that one didn't want to slip on, but I got it in there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, standing now at a nice, respectable height. And look at them just... This is just awesome. This is, I mean, what, can, what do you want for $2.50? You could have a one-man roving tank for Final Faction. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that not just what you want to see? Now, like I said, Ruck comes with two specific weapons packs. I'm going to disrobe him of this entire weapons pack, of this entire one-man Ruck assault weapons pack, and we're going to have him bare. We're going to have him standing here naked as the day he was created in front of us, and then we're going to bring the second weapons pack in and see exactly what that one as well has to offer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. And you know how I kind of fumbled around with the first Ruck weapons pack? You know how I kind of didn't know what I was doing? As I mentioned, this is the first time I'm seeing them. This is the first time I'm experiencing them. I'm doing it live as I'm making the video, just as you all. This second weapons pack it is called the ruck rampage pack and i'm not gonna lie i did not really see this one advertised i did not really see this one out there i i saw that 
other one, the assault pack, that one that made him into the one-man tank. I saw the dragonfly armor for steel. I saw all this stuff. I was not privy to the Ruck Rampage pack. And it's a good thing I opened it up before I came on, before I uh, decided to show you what was going on, because this one definitely has a lot to offer. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't put it on him yet. I haven't put it on Ruck yet. This is going to be the first time putting it on him. If this goes according to plan, if this works out the way I think it's going to work out, and I can tell you right now we're going to have to take this off. If this works out the way I hope it does, this is going to be the best weapons pack, bar none. And I, I haven't even gotten to Steadfast yet, but this, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm already getting giddy all over. So, the first thing that you get, the first part of this whole weapons pack, let's, let's just... Go down the line. We'll do the main one. You get this. What is this? What exactly is this? That is a good question. I'm asking it myself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the XO Rampage. The XO Rampage. This is what's going to be the bulk. This is what's going to go over Ruck's head like so. This one is looking fine. This one is looking fantastic. If you look, you can already see kind of how it's going to go. It's got two pegs there. And what does Ruck have on his back? The two pegs there. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize you had a little earlier weapons pack part on your back. So we can see right here. We can see right now. These are obviously going to plug in here. Again, this is made out of a more flexible plastic as as the as the dragon steel armor was that's you know i'm not usually I'm not usually a fan of that but with this application i i see why it is like that because obviously you don't want it snapping off every time you try to put it on ruck so now he has his xo rampage body armor on right the body the torso the head and what exactly does that do well if you look at the back of your final faction packaging this battle ready exoskeleton turns ruck into a one man wrecking crew capable of maximum carnage that description that description it just speaks it speaks to me on a different type of level the next thing you're going to get the next part of this whole build because this really is a build at this point. You get some exoskeleton arms. This actually threw me through a loop. This actually had me confused because if you look here, the, these actually come in multiple parts. You have a hand here. You see this is where Ruck is going to grab it in his little hand. And you can see it plugs in here. This is one of the first times I think Final Faction, at least in a, in a weapons pack and whatnot, they give you options. Because if you look, I got that set up for the right hand. On the left hand, you get this little shield bashy looking thing, right? And when I tell you the name, you're, you're going to understand why. They call this the pulverizer. What exactly is the pulverizer? What exactly are these? Are They are exo arms that can level buildings. That's literally the explanation that you get and it's pretty short sweet and to the point but when i say it threw me off i thought for a second why is there an extra piece where does this thing go i was questioning this i didn't know what it was it wasn't until i started putting it together and i saw the handle i said oh my it plugs in here because do you know what they did you know what they gave you they give you a left hand if you don't want to use the shield if you want two exoskeleton arms with hands you got it is that not cool is that not awesome first time in the line ladies and gentlemen that they have given you options for things it's awesome it is just plain as day clear as crystal awesome and these things obviously you know how ruck has the hole mounted in his arm obviously you can see here they have a peg inside and they slip on like so you stick his hand into the handles of the hands which they use might be better suited for after you get them mounted onto the arm. Let's move this out the way. 
like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a bit, oh, look at that. And once you've seen it click in, you knew, you knew, didn't you? You knew that that was it. You knew that that was the way it was meant to go. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So we got it all situated now. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we know what we're doing. Like I said, doing it live, doing it in person, doing it just as you all would be doing it at home now. I mean, Ruck is already looking like a gorilla, is he not? Looking like a gorilla with these, with the big torso, the big arms, and the tiny little legs. But that's not all you get. No, no, no. That is not the end. Again, this is a mighty build, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do you get arms, but you get more legs. You get some leg action. What are these? These specifically are called the Trekker. They're exo legs capable of leaping three stories. Three stories for Ruck. Don't know why, when and why he's going to need to jump three stories high. But now he is basically Superman. Able to clear buildings in a single bound. And just like the arms, you get that satisfying click when you get it right in line with the peg hole. And now it's a whole do. That's what I meant. When I saw this pack, when I opened it up, when I took it out of the box, when I was going to start doing it, I was like, this is a whole new character. This is literally a whole new action figure. You get two for the price of one right here. Look at that. A whole completely different character. Could you imagine Peyton this? There's, it's got nice battle damage already in it. It's got the scrapes. It's got the dings. It's got all these nice crevices for a black wash. I'm seeing possibilities here. I'm seeing things with this. So, what do you get also with that? Because you know, what is Ruck again? He is the weapons expert. He is the ballistics man. He's the one that makes it happen. Captain, you get another minigun. This looks surprisingly similar to the one we got in the weapons pack. Just no handle in the first series, right? In the first series of weapons pack. But difference is, this one you can see the peg. You can see it. You know where that's going to go? Bang. Right up in here. It is now head mounted mini gun. That is on the one side. What is on the other side? Oh, I'm sorry. This one. Yes, it is called. Oh, it's the arms of Ares. It's the same. It's the same deal from the other weapons pack. It gives you the same description. Only this one shoulder mounted as opposed to arm mounted. Now, that might be all fine and good, right? That should be enough for a rock fan. But, but ladies and gentlemen, they thought of that. They thought of that and they gave you more. They gave you more. Look at these shoulder mounted rockets now. And what are these called? These are called the Slinger. Slinger, ladies and gentlemen, SAM platform equipped with six deadly missiles. And of course, that's going to go right on the other side. And these, of course, can be interchanged. They can be switched around. If you like this on the right shoulder, this on the left shoulder, you know, you can do with it what you please. And then we get one final thing because you see a lot going on the front here, right? If you were to look at him head on, you think, man, that's a whole new character. It's a whole different thing. But once he turns around, you're like, well, that's Ruck. That's what he is. That's okay. They thought of that as well here. You see it, you know it, you love it. Again, this comes in two separate parts. You get this little barrel thing with this little backpack right here. And you can see those peg holes. More things are going to be included in there. You can tell. You can put things on there. You could, pro you could mount those up on here. Who knows? But what is this? It's the RX-7 Ion Cell. It's next-gen fuel cell that powers the whole unit. So right now, Rock is basically, he's stuck. You know, he's he's in his power armor with no fusion core, right? Shout out for whoever knows that reference. I'm sure a lot of us do. But here we go. Pop the, you know, hold on. right? Fallout 4 style, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, gave the whole thing away. But there it is. Now he's fully powered. Now he's able to go about his business. What As one of my favorite characters, as I mentioned earlier, as one of my favorite Final Faction members, this, this, this is, we've reached the peak. We've reached a literal peak. How do you come back from this? How do you add on to this? 
It's a whole new character, and it's so thick, it's so chunky. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, I, I just, whoever came up with this idea, I want to thank you. I want to personally thank you. And you know what? I want to personally, personally, I know we mentioned it earlier, but we never brought it out. 100%. I don't think anyone can argue with me on this. And if you do, I will fight you. I will fight you, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it literally deserves the presence of this. It's Golden Synthoid. Golden Synthoid approved for the new Ruck Rampage armor. Sorry. But again, we have one more to go. This is not the last of it. We have one more Final Faction pack. Accessories and weapons pack that came today. Fresh out of the package. We all know him. We all love him. He is our Final Faction leader. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, the Steadfast Cyborg Armor. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, certainly, definitely not the slightest of the group. Here he is, Sergeant Steadfast. And you know, just as a little backstory, I told you, when I was a kid, I, always I never really was into the main characters. I always liked, you know, the main character's right-hand man, right? I always liked the big, bulgy guy, the one that was the weapon specialist, the one that was involved in all the, the cool stuff with all the weapons and all the cool things, right? He, they always seem to have more going on, not gonna lie. I am into Steadfast. I am a huge fan of him being the leader. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It, it really goes completely against what I was into as a child, but that, not in a bad way. Not a bad way. So now he gets his own weapons pack, and it's literally just known as the Steadfast Cyborg Pack. So what exactly do you get in the Cyborg Pack? What exactly comes in it? Well, the first thing you get is this. It is known, ladies and gentlemen, as the Condor CBA. Condor CBA, what exactly does that mean? It's a fragmentation protection breastplate. So it's literally just a breastplate meant to protect our favorite leader, our favorite guy, Sergeant Steadfast. And you can see it easily slips right over top and it definitely has the peg hole in the back and it slides right in. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, fitting him like a glove. And it does show on the promo packaging on the back. Bang, it fits with the helmet because I know we all love that removable Steadfast helmet. So what is the next thing you get? What is the next point to this entire weapons pack? Well, ladies and gentlemen, next on the list to go on to that breastplate, you get not just one, but you get two. And what exactly are these? These are the MK2 ion cannons, shoulder mounted cannons, ladies and gentlemen. Enough said, very short, sweet, and to the point, but what a point it is. And you can see we have a different connection style here. Two small little holes and two tiny little pegs on the shoulder mounted cannons. And here we go. We can see they fit perfectly in where they're supposed to. And they look just sick, right? They just make him look like a force to be reckoned with. I'm not going to lie. They kind of look like cameras. They kind of look like two old school, you know, camcorders on his, uh, on his shoulders, but for play feature, outstanding, perfect in every way. But that's not all you get, right? We got it's a cyborg package. He's not very cyborgy right now. We know he comes with the arm. We know he loses the arm. It adds to the backstory. It adds to the character. But what comes in the pack? What comes in the pack, you might be asking yourself. Well, the next thing we see the cybernetic arm. We love the cybernetic arm. We get cybernetic legs ladies and gentlemen again not just one you get two because he has two legs he's not lieutenant dan he has them both right here and what exactly are these these are the xo thunder xo thunder ladies and gentlemen what exactly is the xo thunder they are exoskeletal leg support system and you know i like how final faction they are definitely a sci-fi type you know, deal with aliens and the and all the characters and stuff like that. But you know, they throw some things that are that are real life. You know, they're coming out with these things in the military. Got got exoskeletons on. Soldiers can carry, you know, hundreds and hundreds more pounds and still run at top speeds. 
the the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. Things that you thought were only possible in science fiction are now coming true, and Final Faction is not gonna you know miss out on that train. They're gonna be right on the forefront of that. So you can see, fits nice, fits pretty good. The first leg did anyway. The second one does not seem to want to fit in perfectly well. There we go. We got it in there. Cybernetic legs. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. There he is able to stand on his own. And if you think to yourself, man, that is worth the dollar. 25. That is worth the dollar spent and 25 cents, right? You might think to yourself, man, I got a pretty cool looking steadfast. I got a nice cybernetic cyborg. That's not all, ladies and gentlemen. That's not it. Final Faction got you covered. The next thing you get right here. What is this, you might ask? The Mano Arms. The Mano Arms. And look at the little details in that. What is this exactly? It's a weapon with inner changeable extensions here it is and it goes right there on that cybernetic arm it goes right there on the robot arm and you might think man that looks like a cannon you're got you got a nice imagination that's what i thought looks like a cannon you could just aim it and pow right pa pow but that's not all he's got that's not all that comes with it first thing you get you get this thing you get this thing. It looks like two miniguns. You know what it is? It's the plasma coils. Coils fire concentrated plasma beams, and you can see they plug right into that hole. Now, I'm not going to plug it in there because guess what? In true Final Faction style, they don't just give you one. They don't just give you one. They give you three. They give you three attachments. So we get the plasma coils. What's next on the list? What could possibly be coming out of this? Next thing you get... RZ clamp, and it's a clamp, ladies and gentlemen. It's a clamp, right? He's gonna get the clamps. Here it is. It's a multi-purpose hydraulic clamp. Hydraulic, again, coming from the machine background. I like hydraulic. Hydraulic. It means that it has a fluid that controls the pressure. And let me tell you one thing: hydraulics, they don't stop. If a guy's neck, if a guy's hand, if a guy's leg is in this clamp, guess what? It's not going to stop until it clamps. It's hydraulic. That's one of the nice things, knowing the machine aspect. And then finally, the final thing you get, you get a railgun. You get a railgun. It's a mag-level weapon that fires high-speed projectiles. And look at this. Look at this. This whole cybernetic arm thing, this whole this whole deal, it is pretty baller. And I'm gonna, you know, as I, since I was talking about the clamp, and I know about the clamp, and I'm a I'm a machine guy, I'm gonna put the clamp on there, and that's how we're gonna show it. That's how we're gonna end it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the final, final faction weapons pack that I can offer you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get them soon. I still have yet to see them in my local Dollar Trees, hence why I ordered them on DollarTree.com, got them delivered to my door today as we speak. I am just, I am thrilled. I am happy. I say overall, total for everything, tax tags included, Golden Synthoid approved in every way, shape, and form. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you guys get your hands on these weapons packs yourselves, and I hope you have as much fun with them as I did. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Got to take care of some things and going to get some dinner. So, everybody, have a good one. Stay safe and hope to see you next time. Thank you.